Okay, so now in the texturing part, we'll intensively work on what actually sells the bullet, which is the texture. So we'll go to File, New Material, and create a silver material to the bullet. So on the color, we just click here. and just look for a grungy texture and I'll just I'll just get a, a grungy texture from from video copilot like texture number one for example and I don't want to create it on the on the folder but if you apply right now you'll notice some wrong things here but that's not the point for the bump it will also be nice to just like the same texture say no and in the blur offset scale you just leave like zero but for the color you want to blur it a lot like I don't know 86% here and 65% here so now you can see it doesn't look like, you know, it was the texture, the, the original texture. And maybe it's too much, you can just say 42 for example. But the trick is on the blur settings to start giving, you know, a metallic look to it. And I'll just call this silver because we're going to have a golden one too. Now, for the reflection, you will actually select another texture and I'll just look for a cloud texture here that looks like a good one yeah this cloud texture here and I'll also uncheck the, check the environment and get the same cloud texture so just so you don't get confused just so you don't get confused for reflection and environment we're gonna be using a cloud texture and for color and bump the grunge texture. Now, why the cloud texture? Well, because now I'm going to be creating a sky and applying a material to this sky. And this material is going to be the cloud texture too. So that way, the cloud texture is going to be in the background and the bullet is going to be reflecting the background, which, you know, is going to look reasonable. So apply the, the clouds to the background and it's already applied the other one to the bullet. Let's see how things look like. There you go. You can already see it's way, way different. And it's reflecting very well. This is the only thing, you know, it's kind of left out here. But if you look from other angles, you now you can see there are some pretty nice places. Everything looks very nice. It's amazing how we just created a pretty cool texture. And really, what I want to do is just to duplicate the silver texture in this one here. And for the reflection, try to set something like more golden like for the environment too. And for the color too, maybe some orange. And then you apply the texture to the tube. And let's see. Now I have something that's slightly different here, which is pretty good. And you can add lots of details, like for example, creating another tube. And let's just make this a little bit big now. Rotate it. Just so it kind of fits here. And now, you want to decrease the outer radius to something like this. Move it around here. And probably we need to decrease the outer radius too. Move this down a little bit. And you can apply the same golden texture. Golden 
I'm sorry, but I'm confused. And you can see you have a pretty cool detail on your bullet, which is gonna make it pretty unique. And I would actually delete this because, you know, in the original render I didn't show it, so I'll just keep it loyal to what I, I promised you guys. And you can also animate. And, you know, I'll actually do something different. And instead of animating the bullet, I'll just create a new camera and animate the camera around the bullet. So I'll just go to camera, camera, scene camera, camera. So now I can actually move the camera. And I'll go to animation, auto keying. Come here to the top view where we can actually move the camera. So now in frame zero, just set the camera here, set a keyframe, and then come to you know frame 45, set it the camera somewhere else, and rotate it, set a keyframe, and then for 90, we'll just move it here. And you just kind of want to make a half circle here. Maybe bring it closer. Rotate a little bit. And that way, you're going to have something like this. And for the initial position, actually, you can bring it, you know, you can bring the camera here. So that way you just have a 180 degree movement. And let's just make a quick preview. I'll just go to render, make preview, it's gonna be a really low res. And I click OK, just so we actually see how things look like. So here's the preview and let's see. Yeah, we can see there's no flaws. Uh, the only thing we might want to change is maybe the hole here which doesn't fit too well and to that first of all uncheck auto king so it doesn't recognize the animation and change the inner radius to zero so now you just have a perfect plane here but yeah that's how you can quickly create a bullet in cinema 4d for an action movie or whatever you need simple Hell yeah, not scary at all. Here it is, and you can probably follow the same steps on the 3DS Max part covered by Nahuel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.